Hello, fella diggers. Hey guys, it's Penny Digger. Ah, my son went out to the mailbox for me just a minute ago, and I got some goodies in the mail from John and Jackie over in the UK. Uh, first off, let me read this little note. I went ahead and unpacked everything. Cause I know how John packed stuff up, and I wanted to make sure that I got it out unpacked, or we'd be pausing a lot. First off, a little note says, Hello, Thomas. Here's just a few little things we thought we would send. The museum guide is from when my mom visited Georgia recently and never even been on a plane before, LOL. And the money was left over from the holiday, etc. So, uh, they sent me some, some greenbacks, American greenbacks. Uh, five ones and a ten dollar bill. Uh, wow. Spendables. I don't usually get spendables in the mail, John and Jackie. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, said, hope you like the George 3 Irish Bank token, which I know you won't have one of. One of these. Not sure if it's real. Well, it kind of kind of looks like it probably is. It's damn sure old. Because <clears throat> it's got the like the George well if I can hold on to it where'd it go Jerry I need you to help never mind I got it <laughs> I'm about to say I need my boy to come in here and hunt for it for me but I got it see it's got the George 3 bullhead uh, thing on the front and it says uh, damn I can't hold on to that coin as big as it is Well, I do need you to come help me hunt for it this time. No, I don't. I got it again. Ha! Ah, I need to super glue this sucker to my hand. But uh, it says George 3. Um, something Del, something Del Gradia Rex on the front. Just like they always do, and then it's got uh, like a laurel wreath on the back, and it says 1812. It's a Irish bank token. I see the bank token part, and it says 1812 there on the back. Okay. Then let's continue with the note. Man, this is this is a comedy. Y'all getting to watch me drop stuff and hunt for stuff. Uh, I also wanted the gold plated three pences to go with the other ones we sent you. Well, they sent me a, a gold plated ship half penny, which I love that. Because uh, I, I love ship half pennies for some reason, gold and silver plated. Uh, hope all is going well with your leg and hoping to see you up and, and out detecting soon. Best wishes, John and Jackie. And they sent me a really nice Christmas card here, guys. Look at this. Says wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And then on the inside it says, To Thomas and family, season's greetings. Have a wonderful time. Love from John and Jackie. So that's a really nice card right there. And that will go up on the, the bookcase over there where we always hang our Christmas cards. But, now, he explains... The gold and silver plated threepence. Gold plated on this side with the queen. And I'm sure all the scratches I'm seeing are on the plastic and not on the coin. And it's a 1960 threepence that they silver and gold plated. It's got silver in the center and the little stars at the top and the rest of it's all gold plated. But, he did not explain this. Now, I'm assuming that this was a brooch. It's got an, like an iron cross in the center. 
and it's got a silver look to it but um, I don't know I don't see any markings on it to say that it's sterling or 925 or anything I'll look closer on the back it's got a, a stamp MP but you see it's got the a little hole on each side like maybe there was a pin that went across it I don't know I've got no clue what it is but it's pretty very pretty so I'll examine that and see it might be it might be silver but I don't think so but uh John Jackie damn thank you uh, I know you told me the other day you had something in the post for me uh, you said it was nothing nothing major just uh, wanted to send me something you knew I didn't have and you did that I didn't have a gold plated threepence nor did I have the George 3 token and you know I love George 3 stuff so I have to get me a frame and get these up on it <coughs> and once I do I'll I'll put a picture of, of how they look up on the wall. And uh, I'm going to get y'all a Christmas card off in the mail and a little something that, even though I know y'all tell me all the time not to send you anything, I decided back, oh God, back in the middle of the summer when we were exchanging things back and forth that I was going to send you one of these. And it's really nothing. But... I think you might enjoy it. Uh -huh. Give you a little insight into uh, South Georgia country town life. So that's all I'm going to say about that. And uh, I'm going to let y'all go. So until next time, this is your one and only penny digger. Ain't that right, Lila? Hey, baby. And we're out.